those of a certain vintage, those of us, and uh, a degree of accrued wisdom, recall Jackie Gleason, his theme song, Melancholy Serenade, and how terrific his show was from over in Miami Beach. We begin quarter number four, and make note of this, the Hurricanes in the last 15 years have lost twice in 134 games with a third quarter lead. Third and three here. Rush coming, Dorsey hit, incomplete. Dorsey took a pop from behind. Nice play by Chris Hope, the free safety, getting in there and knocking the football down. Fourth and three, and uh, it looked, Todd, at the opening of this uh, second half, like Florida State was just going to storm right yep. back in and grab the lead. They were trying to seize the lead and the momentum, and what happened was they didn't take advantage of the turnover. They made a few more mistakes, and again, I think too many mental mistakes by this Florida State team. Uh, to, to, you can't fool around with a team like Miami. They're too talented. You've got to concentrate that. That's a short punt. Very short. It does take a Miami roll, but that only adds an additional three yards. So, Freddie Capshaw, disappointed with that one, winds up going only 30 yards. 20 to 10. We'll be right back. Fourteen forty six to go Dan Morgan has returned to the field number forty four good news for the Miami defense Winky will get the snap from the forty three on first and ten safety blitz Winky deep right side a flag is down the ball is not loose intended for menace at the thirteen yard line Leonard Myers with good coverage so a lot going on in that play flag thrown deep in the Miami secondary. Would indicate it's going to go against the Hurricanes. But illegal participation, illegal participation on the defense. 12 men on the field, 15 yards, first down. It's a good way to slow down the Seminole offense. Move. Play with 12 if you can get away with it. Take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can't do that. So the Seminoles have a first down now at the 32 yard line. Stunts, Winky, little flare, incomplete. Second time they've dropped that one. Travis Miner, the intended receiver. We want to take you back to a moment uh, before we went to break. Watching the right side, the punt, and then. <laughs> The Miami coaches booth as soon as that punt hit the ground they were back to bye bye no sell sell. <laughs> <laughs> they were working the phones weren't they. Second down and ten. Again starts by the defensive line. And again good coverage by Morgan and a flag thrown. Uh, this might go either way. You know, Vern, I think it's going to go on Leonard Myers, but the only problem he had here is he read this play so quickly. He anticipated so quickly that he was there waiting for the football and had contact with Menace. When you watch this again, Leonard Myers is all over this. I mean, he reads it so quickly that he's just there before the ball can get there. Here's Myers, one-on-one -on -one against Menace. Watch him read it and get there, but the ball's not there yet. And he just kind of stands there and makes contact. I don't know. I, I think you could have let this one go. He played it so well. He was in position. Yeah, there was some contact. I don't think enough to call pass interference, though. Nevertheless, it is called first and ten. Florida State just wasted a timeout. Travis Miner called the timeout, not Chris Wanky. And again, more confusion and another mental error. Time is called with 14.30 to go. The Home Depot College Football on CBS is sponsored by Volkswagen. Sprint PCS. CBSMarketWatch.com and by the Home Depot.
We are back in the Orange Bowl, 20 to 10, Florida State down, but they have a first and 10 at the 17. Here's Winky. Comes left to Minor, one on one, out in the flat. And knocked out of bounds by Jonathan Vilma, number 51. Defensively, Miami going with six defensive backs as they have done much of the game. Take a look at that. 30 yards on this drive, thanks to Miami penalties. We've seen Florida State hurt their cause. They're Miami hurting themselves as Greg Schiano looks on. Menace wide right. Bolden wide left. They hand it off up the middle on second down and eight. Blades and Morgan. There's Dan Morgan. Double digit tackles again today. He is going to become the all time leading tackler in Miami history. The record currently held by George Myra Jr. And Morgan closing in on a third and six. Cheney's in. And again, late additions to the offensive lineup. Damian Lewis comes across. Wow, this could be an easy five yards. Play clock running down. Florida State obviously confused a little bit. And Damian Lewis may have just given him five easy ones. Yep. Well, Butch Davis, what he's mad at is you is saying you're not allowed to run players in late like that and have that many people on the field at the same time. But there was obvious confusion from Florida State. But Damian Lewis is lined up right over the nose of the football. He knows he can't move until the ball is snapped. So a little mental error by Damian. Again, they don't huddle. So look at all this action going on. Guys running on, guys running off. Called to play at the line of scrimmage, and Florida State very fortunate that time. So the Seminoles go from third and six to third and one, which changes the complexion of this Big play. Difference. Third and one, down by 10. McCray, William McCray, the fullback, plunges over right guard, appeared to have enough to uh, give SFU a fresh series of downs. In this drive, 35 yards in penalties now yeah. against Miami. And you called it that last one. That, that going from third and six to third and one, that is huge. Second game of the doubleheader coming up from Starkville, Auburn against Mississippi State. Uh, Jeff Cheney is the deep back in the eye. Timeout has been called by Miami. So the Hurricanes use one of their allotment of three. Time is called the 1321 to go. Welcome back to the Orange Bowl. First and goal, Florida State at the six yard line. Jeff Cheney is the tailback. He gets the toss with McCray leading the way. Excellent pursuit by the Miami defense. And Cheney with a fine job just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, Quincy Hips has done a nice job today getting penetration into the Florida State backfield. He gets the penetration. You don't get to hear his name over the PA system because he's not making the tackles, but he's causing the play to go back a different direction, and someone else is finishing up the job. Atrus Bell is uh, on the field now. He comes wide to the left side. Robert Morgan is split off wide right, number 87. Second and goal. A handoff. They slip the ball to Cheney, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage plus two feet. You know, and I get back to that same point I made about the Florida State offensive line. They're excellent pass protectors. They're very effective out of the shotgun. But when you get them down inside the 10-yard line, they can't turn it on and off to be good run blockers and power blockers up there. They just kind of lean on people. They, they, they play pass protection. They're more of a finesse-oriented offensive line. And when it comes time to try to push people out of there and run the football, they just aren't as effective. Third and six. Third and goal from the six. Four-person rush. Screen right side. McCray. Great job defensively by Miami. Led by Leonard Myers, number 22. This is just a matter of 
of some defensive players wanting it a little more than the offensive players because Florida State is going to run the screen to the fullback right here, and they're going to have guys out in position to make the plays. He's got a little escort, but watch Myers fight off the block and get the tackle. They had guys out in front of the ball carrier, but great pursuit by the defensive backs of, of Miami. Matt Munyon missed it. The distance of the field goal attempt matched Leonard Myers' number. He flat pulled it from 22. We had told you about the problems in place kicking from Florida State. So much of it mental, Vern. This should be a chip shot for any Division I college kicker. Never has a chance. And Munyon right away, I mean, knew it as soon as he kicked it. And this is not a confident kid kicking the football. You can see his reaction right away. Agonizing. And off James Jackson on first down. Hydrated now. Yeah. <laughs> Has some fluids in his system. Fresh legs. Take a look at Butch Davison and Greg Schiano reacting to the missed field goal. Another stop for the Miami Hurricanes. And remember how many yards, 40 yards they gave on penalties on that drive. Florida State shouldn't even have been down there because of the penalties. Then they get the missed field goal. And now the Hurricanes with 108 yards rushing. First time in the last six years they've been in excess of 100 yards against Florida State. Santana Moss to the 45. The tackle made by Cookie Thomas. You know, I don't want to take anything away from the effort that Miami has put forth today because they are out playing Florida State right now. But it's very hard to turn it on and off if you're a football team and, and eliminate mistakes and penalties and mental breakdowns. You can get away with it against Maryland or against Louisville. Florida State was able to do that. They were sloppy in both of those games in certain respects. They aren't getting away with it today against a much better Miami team. On second and one. Jackson. Well, just remember the Street Busters from Miami going back to 89 when Notre Dame came in having 123 and twice they've stopped Florida State in 1991 in Tallahassee when the Seminoles were ranked first and again in 1990 prior to that when they were ranked second. First down and 10. Winky and the crew have won 17 in a row. 26 in a row regular season games. And off. Jackson to the 49 yard line. Now Butch Davis in his career at Miami winless against Florida State and Virginia Tech. Lost one to Penn State, one and one against UCLA. Been a thorn in his side and a, and a point of criticism. And this game here, the Florida State game, is the measuring stick for Miami. Everybody asks the question, is Miami back? Do they belong back in the upper echelon of college football? And this is the game that determines that. Jackson continues to run. Well, we talked to Chris Winkie yesterday and asked if he thought Miami was back. He said, yeah, I believe they are. But I don't think they'll really be back until they beat us. Now, five in a row, the Seminoles have been able to win. It's gotten closer each year. I mean, the, the margin of, of victory for Florida State has gone down. And in this case, now eight minutes and 50 seconds away from reversing the trend, the Miami Hurricanes are. And Ken Dorsey doing a nice job of using the clock right now, too, making the clock work against Florida State as well. Third and four, that one intercepted, dropped. Oh, baby. May have been the best play that Santana Moss made this entire football game right there. Santana Moss just made an outstanding play, turning into a defensive back and knocking the football away from Chris Hope. 
Hope has this interception on the rebound. Now watch Santana Moss knock it out of his hands. That's a sure interception, and Santana Moss becomes a defensive back. May have been the best play he's made in the entire football game. Freddie Capshaw shanked one 30 yards last time out. Gets the good snap, no pressure, and sails this one. And a fair catch call. The ball will bounce and go into the end zone. 49 yards on the punt. Touchback. We'll be right back. Chris Winkie said one reason he came back for his senior season was to try and win a second national championship. It is in doubt right now. Seminoles down by 10 with 8.24 to go. Hand off. Travis Minor for a couple to the 23-yard line. Dan Morgan with the tackle. Now right now, Bobby Bowden has to be thinking, too, we've got to score twice to, to win or tie this game. We need to score this first touchdown as quick as possible so we don't have to count on a field goal necessarily to put it into overtime. Maybe we can win with two touchdowns, but we better score the first one as quick as possible. Snap and a four-man rush. Winky deep right side. Menace up in the air. Edward Reed came over and mistimed it, and he's down. He might have knocked the breath out. This is a good job by Ed Reed coming over. Cover two again. Corner turns him loose. There's a soft spot in the defense, and watch Reed come over and get right at the play, get up and get a hand on the football. Good effort by Ed Reed. Minnis goes high, goes higher than Reed, but Reed able to get a hand on the football. I think you're right. I think he did just knock the wind out of himself. Yep. Double header for you today on CBS. And coming next, Danny from the SEC, the 15th ranked Auburn Tigers go into Starkville to take on the 20th ranked Mississippi State Bulldogs. That's next on CBS. And the crowd here, 80,905. This is the third largest crowd in the 63-year history of the Orange Bowl. They've rather enjoyed themselves. Yeah, they have. Big third down play, third and seven, Vern. Miami, or Florida State, rather, three of 13 on third downs today overall. Winky, deep in the middle, incomplete. And Miami will have a chance to work on the clock a little more. That one intended for Anquan Bolden. Miami showed blitz that time, dropped into a zone, and Wanky had enough time, just not very accurate on the middle throw to Anquan Bolden. Santana Moss awaits the punt at the 38-yard line. Control back. Moss drifts back and grabs it at the 27. Somewhat tentative on the return, 12 yards after the 50-yard punt. Tonight on CBS begins with a new drama, That's Life, starring Paul Sorvino, Ellen Burstyn, and Heather Page Kent. And Chuck Norris stars in the season premiere of Walker, Texas Ranger, followed by the series premiere of The District, starring Emmy winner Craig T. Nelson. Don't miss it all tonight on CBS. 7.26 to go. Miami led 17-0 at the half. Florida State scored 10 unanswered with ease to open the third quarter. Here's Dorsey. Lobs it out for his tight end. And good coverage from Brian Allen on Ivan Mercer. And uh, remember what Butch Davis was telling us yesterday, that Dorsey, a kind of quiet-mannered young man, yeah. is beginning to develop a little bit of an attitude as a quarterback. Well, he's beginning to assert himself a little more as the leader of this football team, which the quarterback has to do. And... Uh, you know, he's been a little more uh, willing to jump on a receiver if he doesn't run the right route or cuts the route short. And 
You know, that's what the great quarterbacks here at Miami have done. They have to be the leader, the focal point of this offense. Here's Dorsey with a quick setup, finds the tight end. Mercer rumbles across the 50. And with emphasis, gets a first down after the pickup of 12 yards. Chris Hope with the tackle. Boy, just made a huge completion there on second and 10. What has Ken Dorsey done today? He's made some nice throws off the play action. The first touchdown pass to Najee Davenport. He's had boys in the pocket. He's stood in there. He's made some good throws downfield. And he's been the leader of the football team. He's protected the football. And he's done a nice job running the offense. And he has yet to throw an interception this season. Jay Davenport see DJ Williams get uh, stiffened that time as he tried to lay the block well the CBS sports line stat of the game in the last 12 meetings between these two teams the team with the most rushing yards has won and for the first time in six years this afternoon Miami has gone over 100 yards for complete college football coverage, go to cbs.sportsline.com. Now, both these teams have good, talented runners, Vern. And what that stat comes down to is that the Miami offensive line played better than the Florida State offensive line today, no question. Dorsey flings it. And it is incomplete in the, the neighborhood of Daryl Jones. You talk about this Miami offensive line. Bryant McKinney has done a nice job blocking against Jamal Reynolds. Joaquin Gonzalez, the other tackle, you know, the, the feature position on this Florida State defense is their defensive ends, and they have been very quiet in the ball game. They've blocked well enough to run the football for over 100 yards, and then the play action has just killed Florida State. Third and 10. Green pass left side Jackson never had a chance hit in the backfield by Chris Hope it'll be fourth down Tommy Polly was also out there number 29 there's Polly fourth and 14 well Reynolds got good pressure and then Polly read the screen right away I mean, he knew the screen was coming. They were trying to get the ball to James Jackson, and he's there for the good wrap-up tackle. It's a big punt for Capshaw. He needs to get a good one down inside the 20-yard line here for his defense. Gets it away, but it goes sideways. See what kind of a roll he gets. He gets a Miami roll, and this one's going to look terrific on the stat sheet. Well done. Under pressure, under duress, gets it out of there and downs it inside the 15-yard line. Sunday on 60 Minutes, Tina Sinatra on her father's last day. The woman she wishes he hadn't married and what he and the mob did for Jack Kennedy. That's one of the topics Sunday on 60 Minutes. So it has come down to this on this first Saturday in October. Florida State, the defending national titleists, Last loss in the championship game of 98 to Tennessee. Last lost in regular season in September of 98 to North Carolina State. They trail by 10. Winky goes upstairs. And it is caught. Minutes. Turn Leonard Meyer was in great position. I mean, he was step for step. He just mistimed his jump a little bit, and Snoop went up over the top of him and got the football. Leonard Myers was right there, but Snoop just a hair higher and got the ball out of the air. A gain of 42, first down at the 47. Winky steps up, settles for Atrus Bell out of the wing. And he is out of bounds at the 35. A gain of 11 and a first down. We talked about some of the problems Florida State has had today and a lot of miscues, a lot of lack of concentration plays, delay of games, four, drop balls, interceptions. Of course, he had to fumble and missed two fourth down conversions in the first half and then the missed field goal here just recently. Tough to win when you make those kind of mistakes. Three wideouts. Two backs, Winky, 
into the flat, one-on-one -on -one out there. Cheney slips a tackle of Buchanan, then slips another tackle of Vilma, and is finally down at the 29-yard line as Buchanan came back. Nice-looking drive for Florida State, but the thing you have to remember, the clock is still moving. It's, it's four minutes and 30 seconds now. Or just getting there, 4.30 for Florida State, and they have to score twice, down by 10. Second down and four. Florida State has two timeouts left. On second and four, Cheney wiggles to the right, cuts back for a first down at the 23-yard line. Al Blades with the tackle for Miami. And the clock stops momentarily while the first down chain is reset. I think Florida State needs to speed things up again. Again, this is a no huddle offense, not necessarily a hurry up offense. But I think they need to go into hurry up mode here so that they can score quickly and then not have to worry about onside kick or anything. Kick the football and play defense. But of course, they have to score a touchdown first. Three down lineman Morgan rushing with the linebackers. This one in the flat from Miner. And Buchanan forces him out of bounds, which does stop the clock with a second less than four minutes remaining. Second and five. Robert Morgan laid on to the field. He's in the slot to the right. Miami rushes three. Winky drills it toward the goal line. Bolden first and goal at the four-yard line after the catch. But they're down in their dead zone again, Vern. Inside the five-yard line. They have not been very good down here so far in the ball game. Look at him in the red zone. Five possessions, zero touchdowns. Travis Miner, the deep back in the eye. They slip it to the fullback, McCray. He gets two. It'll be second and goal at the two. 3.45 remaining. And that's just fine with Greg Schiano because even if they score, if they stop him on a couple plays, it just means more time getting eaten off the clock. We're down at three minutes and 30 seconds now. And again, not a lot of urgency on the part of Florida State. Winky throws the fade in the end zone and overthrows Menace, who was well covered by Leonard Myers. Third down. Eighty thousand nine hundred. Here for the rematch, FSU and Miami. Nick Maddox comes on the field now. He'll be a slot to the left on third and goal. Miami rushes three. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bolden, his second of the day. Three man rush is all, and they drop eight. You shouldn't be able to find an easy seam when they're dropping eight with no depth to cover, but Bolden able to find a little hole in there and get the touchdown. The extra point is not a given, but Munyon does knock it home. And that cuts the lead to three. 20 to 17. Three minutes and 15 seconds left in regulation. Anquan Bolden with his second touchdown catch, one 48 yards, this one two yards. A nine-play Florida State drive, 89 yards. The big one was the scramble catch as Leonard Myers went up for the interception, and Snoop Minnis caught one for 42. And that helped propel Florida State the rest of the distance for the touchdown. Now, 3.15 to go. Both teams, two timeouts left. FSU with a 17-game win streak on the line. If you're Florida State here, Vern, you're thinking, let's get great coverage, make them start inside the 20, and then hope our defense can get the ball back quickly. If you're Miami, you're saying, James Jackson, you've been our horse today. You got hydrated in the locker room. We need you right now on this drive. Here's Chance Waltney's kick. Comes left. Touchback. 
James Jackson, 22 carries for 92 yards right now. And coming into the ballgame, only Maryland's Lamont Jordan, the only running back to gain more than 45 yards against this Florida State defense. And it doesn't matter what James has done now. This drive is where it counts. They need to eat up the clock, make some first downs, and keep the football on the ground if they can. And that guy knows it, too. I mean, he knows what he's going to see. Mickey Andrews, the longtime defensive coordinator with Bobby Bowden at Florida State. Jackson and Davenport are the backs in the eye. And the formation tight to the left. They're throwing. And it's tipped and incomplete. Are you surprised? A little bit, I am. Uh, you know, that, that stops the clock. But I know Larry Coker's thinking, hey, Florida State's expecting us to run the football. Let's see if we can get a quick one, a big first down on the first play. Watch the pressure inside and see who gets a hand on the football. I think it was Brian Allen, the linebacker, was the guy who got his hand on the football. There it is right there and knocked it away from the receiver, Wayne. And now second down and 10. Dorsey yet to throw an interception this season. Reggie Wayne starts in motion. Now we'll come back to the right. Now they hand it off to Jackson. Looks for yardage. Surges across the 25 and is down at the 26. Brings up a third and four with 2.55 to go in the clock running. Florida State has two timeouts left. So they'll try to save them as long as they can. Second game of the doubleheader coming up from Starkville. Auburn against Mississippi State. Third and four. Moss comes right. Wayne goes left. Jackson and Davenport behind Dorsey. Play of the ball game right here, Vern. FSU sending four. Quick flip. Davenport gets a downfield block. Fumbles the ball. A scramble at the 48. Who got it? Florida State. Said this was going to be the play of the ball game, and it may very well be. It looked like Miami was perfect. Najee Davenport, the catch across the middle, easy first down and more. But watch the end of the play. The ball gets stripped out. Tay Cody rips it out, and Brian Allen falls on it. Started out like a great play for Miami, maybe a backbreaker. Turns into a golden opportunity for the Seminoles. Tay Cody, the senior. Brian Allen, the senior. Coming through for Mickey Andrews' defense. 2.14 to go. Ball at the 48. Winky at quarterback. Three wideouts and two running backs. And again, Miami will rush only three. Winky, right side, drop McCray. Second and 10. 2.10 to go. My, oh my. <laughs> we knew it was going to be good, didn't we, partner? <laughs> Second and ten. Winky drifting back, looking deep left side. Dennis is wide open at the 35. He moves the ball inside the 30 to the 29 as Dan Morgan went for the tomahawk. And how big is that missed field goal looming now? They're down three. Plus, what's Bobby Bowden thinking? Are we looking to send this to overtime and try another field goal? Or are we going to really play aggressively for a touchdown? I think they're playing aggressively for the touchdown and try to win it on this possession. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Now four-person rush. Winky pumps once. Comes out, lobs it for McCray, and complete second and ten again. 143 to go. Recall that Matt Munyon, the freshman walk-on, missed a field goal from 22 yards out earlier. What must be going through his mind now? That was the field goal attempt, and it was ugly. Second and ten. Six DBs. Play fake. Winky down the middle. Got a man. Touchdown. 
Drew's bell. Vern, remember Chris Wanky's first interception? Same play, down the middle of the field to Atrus Bell. He overthrew it. It was intercepted by Ed Reed. This time, perfect throw to Bell in the middle of the field. Touchdown, Florida State. Extra point is up and good. Chris Winky said he came back to try and win a second national title. The trance still may be alive. Twenty four twenty Florida State let's go back to the touchdown cover two again these safeties here big open spot in the middle a truce bell on the post pattern Wanky missed him earlier in the game this time perfectly thrown and Bell takes it into the end zone Chris Wanky 450 yards passing now three touchdowns to go along with those earlier interceptions what a comeback by the senior quarterback here's the kick Waltney. And they will run it out. Darrell Jones at the 20, at the 30, and out of bounds at the 32-yard line. The Hurricanes were up by 17 at the half. And seemingly had this one in control. There's Lewis. On a third and four, Najee Davenport catches a first down pass has the ball at the 48 yard line but is popped by Tay Cody fumbles and FSU comes from behind. Here's Dorsey first and 10. Plenty of time left for a minute 32. Dorsey Santana Moss circles right will try and get out of bounds does. Derek Gibson with the tackle stops the clock with a first down at the 45 a gain of 13. This is Santana Moss time right here. I mean, before it was James Jackson's time trying to run the clock out. Now, this time belongs to Santana Moss. They made big plays. A field goal does them no good. They need a touchdown, and number six is a guy who can make some plays for them. Number six is in the slot right now, Santana Moss. Reggie Wayne just to his left. Here's Dorsey to his tight end, and Mercer backs out of bounds at the 49-yard line, and that conserves a little more time on the clock. It stops with 119 remaining. Nice job by Mercer getting out of bounds, and again, the poise of young Ken Dorsey. We've seen the poise of Chris Wanky, and we've seen the poise of Ken Dorsey today in his best challenge today, and this is it right now. The game is on the line, a minute 19. And he has two timeouts left at midfield. Second and five. Dorsey has Reggie Wayne at the 33. Clock stops while they move the chain. A gain of 17. Nice timing throw that time by Dorsey. Connecting with his favorite target this season, Reggie Wayne. 112 to go and the clock restarted. Dorsey comes right. And they get out of bounds and stop the clock with 103 to go. It's Jeremy Shockey, the backup tight end, number 88, with his second catch. You know, Mickey Andrews, he wants the clock to run, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him use a timeout if Miami gets another play because he's got to do something to stop this rhythm that Ken Dorsey's in right now. Auburn, Mississippi State underway. We go there when this one's in the history books. Jamal Reynolds, where are you? This is when Florida State needs their defensive end to make a play. On second down, the blitz comes. Wayne goes in the corner. And just a little bit off on the timing. Third and four. David Warren applying a little pressure inside, and you see the end of the play just throwing a hair outside. Here's the hit on Dorsey. It was an inside stunt by David Warren and got there and got into the chest of the quarterback. Moss and King head to the left. Wayne comes right. Third and four. Dorsey down the middle, man. Moss. First and goal at the seven-yard line. 
seconds to go. Timeout call. Good protection up front. The offensive line gives the quarterback time to find Santana Moss, and Miami is in business inside the 10. Time call. Hope you'll come back with us. Think you might. Fifty seconds remaining. 24-20. State on top. But a first down and goal just inside the eight. And after Santana Moss's catch, we had some uh, conversation of an unpleasant nature in the Florida State secondary. Stanford Samuels, Chris Hope, Moss. And King go wide left. Wayne comes wide right. One running back. That's Jackson. And motion, my gosh, from the junior Joaquin Gonzalez, number 73. And Vern, they were trying to go on a quick count. I mean, this was going to be a first sound signal, so you knew it was going to be quick, but Joaquin just a little over anxious. Here he is right here. You see, Dorsey's not even under the center yet, so it's going to be a quick count. And Joaquin. That is the 13th penalty in the ball game against Miami. Now first and goal from the 13 yard line. King and Moss left. Dorsey back. Has time. Goes into the end zone. Attention paid to Santana Moss, the wideouts, the tight end, one on one on Brian Allen, and a perfect throw by Ken Dorsey. Shockey with the touchdown catch. And Dorsey takes a beating but doesn't mind. Ken Dorsey, six of seven on the drive which went 68 yards in 51 seconds. We talked about his poise. We talked about his savvy. Bobby Bowden knows this young quarterback doesn't play like a young quarterback. Maturity beyond his years with a couple of the former Miami greats here to watch him, Bernie Kosar and Jim Kelly. How'd the Miami coaches like it? Good call, Larry Coker. Jeff Cheney, Travis Miner of the deep man. 46 seconds to go. Florida State with two timeouts left. Seavers with the kick. And this will be returned, taken by Miner at the one. Back to the 15, spilled as he crosses the 20 and is down at the 22 yard line. The tackle made by Aaron Moser. Jeremy Shockey. You said it, Vern. Would he have ever dreamed of it? You know, Mercer, the more physical tight end. Shockey, the more versatile receiving guy. And what a play for Jeremy Shockey. 42 seconds to go. Florida State has two timeouts. 42 seconds. Miami will rush three. Winky. Clock continues to run unless they use one of their timeouts, and they have now stopped the clock with 37 seconds to go as Robert Morgan makes the tackle. 
uh, makes the catch and Dan Morgan makes the tackle. Every once in a while you find yourself caught with two too many Morgans. Twenty seven twenty four with thirty seven seconds to go. Today's player of the game presented by Salomon Smith Barney and this has gone back and forth. It's going to be Kim Dorsey watch in December when Salomon Smith Barney presents the CBS Sports College Football Player of the Year Award show. Here is Winky into the flat. Travis Miner will try to scoot out of bounds. He does and stops the clock with 31 seconds to go. Philip Buchanan was right there. Avern, we've seen Munyon miss one field goal today, but he did make a 44 yarder in their last game against Maryland. So he's got the leg to kick one at that distance. That will require Florida State to hit about three more passes of significant yardage. Second down and 10. Or first and 10. The sign was wrong. Here's the catch by Miner. And he's got a first down at the 45 yard line. Things happening so quickly that the down marker had not been changed and it indicated second down. That was a first down play and a pickup of 23. Here is Matt Munyon. They're putting him on red alert right now. <laughs> first and 10. One timeout left. Winky. timed it perfectly he paid a bit of a price but he knocked the ball loose from Anquan Bolden well you called it I mean he did pay a price on this Leonard Myers is going to come over the top on this and times it perfectly and separates Bolden from the football but he got the worst of that collision big time play from the senior out of Fort Lauderdale and uh, you know there was question whether he could play in the ball game. Had a little ankle problem, and if he has to come out now, which he will have to, uh, and he appears to be okay. May have knocked the wind out of himself. We've seen a couple of those today. Munyan had that career long of 44 last week. In order to get to that spot and give him a career equaling 44 yarder. Florida State still needs about 20 yards. Yeah. They need to get to the 27 yard line to attempt a 44 yard field goal. Second and 10. 18 seconds to go. Winky comes left. He's got a man open. It's Menace at the 32. 10 seconds to go. Clock stops while they move the chains. You got to do something quick here. Chris Wanky. He's got a first down. He can kill the clock. He's got the one timeout. The clock is moving right now, and they're still bringing people on the field. Five seconds to go. Four. Now the clock is stopped with five seconds remaining. Unbelievable. They've got to try the field goal now. Confusion in the last 10 seconds. It's happened a lot to Florida State today. This one, just mind boggling. Now the ball is at the 32. They had plenty of time, Vern, to at least throw one more completion to make it an, an easier attempt on the field goal. Or even take a shot at the end zone if they wanted to. As it turns out, they had to waste the time out and try the long field goal. This will be either 49 or 50 for the tie, depending on the spot. I think it's going to be 49. We saw poor clock management at the end of the first half by Florida State, and again here at the end of the ball game. And it's just very, very uncharacteristic. Matt Munyon, walk-on freshman, not listed in the press book. You don't find his picture. And Miami's going to try and ice some already frayed nerves. They call timeout. And Munyon's going to try and, well, Keith Cottrell is going to trot over to the side. Remember 1991? Seven. 
yards field goal to win it. Good snap. Here's the kick. It is up. It is no good. Florida State trails 19 to 16. The snap is back. The kick is on the way. It is no good. Wide to the right. Jerry Thomas missed the one in 91. Dan Mowry missed the one in 92. Matt Munyon will try the one in the year 2000. 49 yards for the tie. He's got the distance. He does not have the kick. Miami has won. Another look at Man Munyon's kick. It looked like he caught it pretty solid, Vern. He got a good boot into it. It got up quick enough. Can you say wide right three? Unbelievable. Plenty of leg, just not the right direction for Matt Munyon. And that is a huge anvil that has been lifted from the shoulders of Butch Davis. A thriller in the Orange Bowl. Miami wins it by three for Todd Blackledge and Jill Arrington. Vern Lundquist saying so long. This a presentation of CBS Sports.